Will the real portrait please stand up? What do we think, folks? Are we going to have a new number one? Or are we going to be utterly disappointed? Speaking of disappointments, this is three weeks in a row. Show me the love. Let's go. But first, what the heck is Portra 800? Introduced in 1998 as part of the Portra family, is the fastest of the three films. This high-speed professional film is known for its good exposure latitude. When you compare it to the 160 and 400 speeds of the same family, the grain tends to be a tad more noticeable and has slightly more contrast. And like all Portra's, warm pastel colors. Oh, and it's good in low light, obviously. It's like fast and whatnot. Codex says the emulsion has gone through several upgrades over the years, improving grain, sharpness, as well as increasing scanning ability. So, uh, yeah, that's it, that's all. Let's go look at some photos. All right, first of all, let's address something. Apparently, I don't know how to expose properly because these are all slightly, slightly overblown. That's my B. Probably should have shot this on a less sunny day, but hey, you live and learn, right? Maybe, hopefully. Anyways, like we were all expecting, we have soft pastel colors. What else do you want me to say? 16 stars. Okay, moving on. You already know, but in case you don't, good scans, good resolution, eight stars. Whoop. Like, comment, subscribe, support me on Ko-Fi. Thanks, love you. Honestly, not as sharp as I was expecting. But also, I'm using a really horrible lens. My least favorite lens. You know what I'm talking about? Go laugh. Go. Dylan, get it together. Go watch last week's episode. Anyways, I'm going to chalk this one up to user error mostly, but... Uh, 12 stars, I think is what I said. <laughs> I never fail. Moving on. When exposed properly, it's really not even noticeable. When underexposed or really deep shadows, it's there, but it's really not distracting by any means. It's still very fine, very small. Do I even like green anymore? I don't know. 15 stars. See you in the next part of the video. I think this calls for a, a versus video, an Aurora versus Portra. Maybe even Aurora versus Portra versus Lomo 800. As some people think that could be Aurora as well, and I'm not gonna disagree. You know what I mean? I'm not sold on what it is yet. So, 
uh, shameless self-promotion is almost over. Go let me know in the comments if you want to see a versus video, and I'll get that together as soon as I can. But you gotta let me know. Thanks. Love you. Moving on to... Yeah, you get it. I had really high expectations for this film stock, and I think I needed to temper that more because I'm just not blown away like I thought I was going to be. It's not like I hate it. It's not like I'm disappointed. It's just... I don't know. I think I'm still really upset that we don't have Pro 400H around at the ready. I really... I think that's hindering my ability to lick Portra right now. Oops. I don't know. With all that being said, I really like this photo. I haven't taken a photo that I really like in a while, probably all summer, but I enjoyed this one. It continues my theme of taking, show to, taking photos of the Calgary Tower, which I haven't done in a while, and kind of makes me want to make another bit or, or make a video about it if I plan to do that, but kind of digressed. Um, yeah, I like it. I like all the negative space. It's in my living room, so all this white stuff is like the wall and the blinds and whatnot, but I think it creates a really nice negative space and really helps frame the Calgary Tower. And then it was kind of like a dreary day, so I got some like nice muted colors with some nice grain. I also used the flash for this, so that's how the, the foreground is so lit up and bright, which I enjoy. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you like the photo? Do you like any of these photos? Do you like this film stock? Do you hate this film stock? Whatever, tell me. Um, also, thank you. Thanks for all the love in the last video. It's really motivating. Anything is really motivating. Comments, likes, subscribes. At this moment in time, as small as I am, I really, really appreciate it. It keeps me going. It gets me motivated. It gets me motivated. It keeps me excited. It keeps me focused, which is very, very hard for old Dill here. So um, yeah, that's really all I got. I think. Cool. See you next Friday. Same time as this time. What'll it be? Probably a 200 speed film. When I say probably, it will be a 200 speed film. What film? Guess you're gonna have to find out. Thanks, love you, bye.